It's once per turn, which is insane. When you make an attack roll, the attack reduces the target's corresponding ability by one. The ability that is reduced is the same as the one used to make the attack roll. So, for example, in Karlak, in my case, that would be strength. Range would be dexterity. So, essentially, if, if me and Karlak are just wailing on somebody, and we both had this ability, how much can we reduce it by? Like, can we keep going, or is it capped at one? What to do? Because I actually quite like that one. Like, for a passive, that's pretty nuts. See now, because this one here, for example, Charm, is also really good, but it's a reaction spell. And... I don't know if... I don't know... Uh, I don't know if that will also require a spell. I'd love to, thanks. So I've got four. I could do one and two here and here for Displace a Beast. Should give me two left. Never a dull moment. I'm tempted by this charm. Uh, let me try something here real quick. Save it here. Because as as far as I know, you can't reset these skills, these these uh, like these powers. You can't reset them, as far as I know. I don't know for certain, but I don't think you can reset them, because now I don't have uh, Lizelle my party, and it would be kind of nice to have Lizelle in the party. Uh, sorry, it would be kind of nice to refund the tadpoles I used with Lizelle. But I don't know if you can refund tadpoles. Is there a refund? Is there a refund tadpoles option? Let me try this. Okay. Oh, it does not use a spell. Okay, so every single time I get attacked, I can charm them if I want to. Ah, okay, I like that. I mean, once per turn, right? I think it's one. I think a reaction's once per turn. Yeah, once per turn. So every single, every single turn I have the chance to, to essentially try and charm them. Which is... Kinda Making nuts. Kinda nuts. I wonder if she might also want some extra stuff. I don't know. We'll see. I like that choice though. However, I didn't find a merchant, which is kinda what I wanted. By coming down here, I, I kind of wanted to find myself a Sorceress Sundays. I, the, sad, the sad thing is now, I can't take Gale to Sorceress Sundries. Because he's gone from my camp. You'd have to reload that area that I went when I meet Orin. You'd have to reload that. To get Gale back. Because, annoyingly now... The only way I can get Gale back. The only way I can get Gale back. Is by reloading. Uh, by by killing Gortash. And killing Orn. Which basically is. I'm guessing most of the most of the campaign. So I have to do the entirety of this story. The rest of everything here. Without Gale. I mean, I wasn't using him in my party, but... Still. <clears throat> it would have been... I don't know, it would have been kind of nice if it had warned you going through that door. That something big was going to happen. Sort of proceed or not to proceed. Because now I want to reload. <laughs> and get Gale back. Because if I don't go through that door and speak to Orn, Gale is still in my party. In my camp. Because I can no longer do any... Can I just, like, where's his quests? Hmm. 
Uh, Man of Carsus, because we're the kind of the Elderbrain. Yeah, so we we can still do his quest. We, he could just can't ever be with us while we're doing it. I found that kind of sad. Also, is um, find the Shar and lookout. Is that in? Um, that must be in Worms Crossing. So we need to go back for. I think we need to go back for um, into into Worms Crossing for that one. Okay. I'm gonna have to give that some thought because I mean, actually, I don't think I can anymore. I think my. Oh no! Here we go. So, I could, in theory, go back here. I didn't do much except the fight I've just done, which, let's be honest, wasn't exactly difficult. Um, that's the only thing I've done, is that. But I don't really want to save scum. Or rather, you know what I mean, I want to avoid it as much as I can. I don't know. We'll, th we'll, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. <clears throat> Okie dokie. So. Do the Suspicious Toys quest. I think we're just going to... Uh, we're going to leave poor... Uh, <laughs> going to leave poor... Uh, Gale where he is. Oh, it is the Cazador one. Ah, <coughs> uh, we can go to the uh, House of Hope too. Got a lot of stuff to do, haven't we? Let's try okay. this way. Uh uh, no, wait, give me. Okay, so we're not going anywhere that way. I guess we go back to kind of the main sort of main path, maybe this way. The book ended too soon. There was plenty of dust left to explore. Oh, come on, Morgan. It's so much better than the we got to do Shadowheart stuff. Um, yeah, let's head up this way. No, up this way? Up this way, I think. Same children's rhyme. I battered the whistle of tin. I do not get a lot of time to practice. Hey! Spare me the sad eyes, girl. Not every daily deed is worthy of song. Certainly none I can play. 
All right. What do we have here? I welcome thee to the Devil's Fee, where every hellish curio's a rarity. So merry be and shop with glee. I will. Oh, no. Definitely something up with this one. Trust me. Uh, ever meet an Orthon? I have. He told me you're a, a diabolist. Truly? That's remarkable. I like to deal with remarkable people. Very well. You stand before Mammon's Picklock, latchkeeper of the Nine Hells. My business is not information, nor hellish curios. Not really. I break people into the hells. That's my thing. And you get me into the House of Hope. What a fascinating proposition. Ludicrous, of course, but fascinating nevertheless. Very well. If you wish to die in Avernus, that's your business. Mine is charging you for it. Yeah. Of course, such a task will require quite the substantial donation to Lord Mammon's coffers. Twenty thousand task would be tantamount to suicide. Do not even entertain it. Hmm. Wave the fee and I'll add one of Raphael, uh, one of Raphael's artifacts to your collection. Easy. Thirty-three for a twenty. Nice. You put me in a difficult position, mortal. You are almost certain to fail. Almost. And so, there is a chance you might succeed. Fine. I'd like to be able to carry all of my precious stock without the need of a team of oxen. There are gauntlets of hill giant strength within the House of Hope. Free passage, and you fetch them for me. Deal? Sounds great. <clears throat> Deal, let's do this. Allow me to outline how this is going to work. First, you were never here. We never spoke. Second, you will perform the rites yourself. I want absolute deniability. Here's the grimoire and necessary components. Oh, take this key, too. It unlocks the ritual room upstairs. There's a blood circle already drawn. Don't ask whose blood. Along with the grimoire and components, Helsick hands you a note containing precise instructions for performing the ritual. Finally, you were never here. That is of utmost import to remember. Now be gone! Wait. Wait, no, 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 come back. My most perceptive, prospective customer. Welcome back. Show me your wares. The good stuff, yeah, right. What's this? <laughs> Nature's Embrace. In increase your wild shape charge by one. Cool. Uh, you gain one bonus to spell save DC and attack rolls. Oh, it's like the elemental absorption one. Like um, the one I did have eventually at first for um, Karlak. Ooh. Hellbird, Hellbeard Halberd. 10 to 22 damage. Damn. Is that better or worse than the one we gave Karlak currently? Arguably better, but... Carlac gains one initiative roll, an advantage in perception ability checks, plus when you make an attack roll as a reaction, you make it with re with the advantage. I think the current one's still better, um, although I do like the idea of it.
Antrips targeting foes and allies can target an additional creature. The same target can be chosen twice. Oh. Wow, could you imagine me with those? And um, Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Just like four Eldritch Blasts at somebody's face. That'd be kind of funny. Alright, let's sell some stuff. These are all rubbish. Nobody has anything good. It's kind of rubbish. Now you've seen what I had for thee. Right, so. How difficult is it going to be? Uh, wait, what might be? What, what is that? What did you see? What is that? I strongly suggest that you reconsider this construction. Whatever you expect to gain from the helmet is not worth the risk of trying. Useful. Didn't we? Didn't we discover something down here? Ah, here. Was it this? Loose planks. Note from Director Gortash. Excellent work, Elsick. I'm beginning to see why they call you Mammon's Picklock. Seems like it might be quite important to hold on to. Well, yeah, look at this thing. This thing looks kind of serious. With a flick of the wrist. DC 20? Yeah. I got a 4. Wow. Oh, you know what? Did I check if she had any? I did not. I need to do that more often. I need to check if they have um, uh, lock picks and stuff. As I could do with some lock picks. My most perceptive, prospective customer. Welcome back. Um, no. Is the short answer? No. <laughs> they do not have, uh... Now you've seen they do not have what I wanted. Um, that is unfortunate. Goodbye. Alright, whatever. We go with what we got, let's hope it's enough. Got it, look at that. Wow. Diamond, cool. Okay. I guess we go to hell. Grimoire bound by in in imp skin. To open the portal, you must place the ritual items in their proper places on the blood star. Place a skull on the star point near the altar. Place the coin of Mammon 
uh, on the point next to the right, clockwise, uh, count it clockwise, skip a point, and place the diamond next to, on the next one. Place the incense on the point that follows the diamond. Finally, place the infernal marble in the center of the star. How am I supposed to remember that? DC 20 again? One more try. Oh my god, two. Ah, oh, forget it. Um, okay. So how do, wait, how do I... Uh, wait, what? How am I supposed to do this? Okay, so place the skull on the star point near the altar. Uh, where's the altar? Here we go. Um, no, seriously, where's the altar? Let's get the team out here. There we go. Let me go back on my own. Okay. I guess here, right? No. Damn it. Open this thing. Okay. Uh, place the coin of Mammon on the next point to the right. Right. Okay. Uh, counting clockwise, skip a point and place the diamond on the next one. So we skip this one. Then we go right there. Boom. Okay. Uh, place the incense on the points that follows the diamonds. Uh, mm. So, right here. Okay. Finally, place the infernal marble in the center. Boom. Uh, horrors and fierce challenges await to the unprepared in hell. Are you sure you wish to proceed? No, but yes. Cool. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is all your fault, you know. You're lucky I care about the fate of your eternal soul. Uh, you're a good friend. You bet your ass I am. And good friends don't let good friends get trapped in the hells. Right? On the bright side, my engine finally feels normal. Like it isn't about to explode. <sighs> I gotta admit, that's pretty nice. Let's find that contract and get out of here before I get used to feeling like I might live. Oh. I would like to hope that we could save her, but I do have a feeling we can't do that. It can't reach us here, I guess. You feel the hunger and desire of countless souls bound to the pillar, unable to escape. Well, 
Can't do anything with those, I guess. <laughs> it seems like a nice place, you know. You came. Such a shame. Curiosity killed all the cats. It won't be so kind to you. As the woman speaks, you hear a distant rattle of chains. And she winces in pain. <sighs> the jailer will hear us. I shouldn't be talking to you. I must go. It's not kind to me. The figure flickers and starts to dim from view. But you sense she could be convinced to return. Uh, maybe I can help you be free of whoever's hurting you. The figure shimmers brightly. Your words seem to have piqued her curiosity. I hope so. But it is a faint hope. Just like me. I can't leave. I could only suffer. But I'm supposed to do that in silence. Everyone here hates me for what I am. I'm the thing that kills you and the only reason you're alive. Made by a promise, and done by the truth. A handshake, a hug, the first beat of a newborn's heart. I am hope. What little is left of her. A guttering candle in a universe of night. Raphael's driven her mad. Poor soul. I'm not much of a friend to anyone anymore. But I could use a friend myself. Do you want a friend to guide you through this madhouse? I hear the jailer. It hears me. It'll call Raphael, make every question count. Make some of them count twice. Um... I need to find my contract. Can you help? Caveat Venditor. Big mistake coming here while Raphael holds all the cards in his claws. But big mistakes correct bigger mistakes. Like scribbling your signature in the first place. Silly little mice. But yes, hope can help. Your contract is here in this house. It's... You hear a sound like the rattle of a chain and an agonizing scream in your head as hope flickers from view momentarily. mad even you especially me and that makes them dangerous but it also makes them stupid yeah. i'll make you seem as ruined as the rest of the people here a simple glamour to make you a terrible wretch oh. okay now whisper your questions little wretch but really quiet and very clever concentrate Oath breaker performance. Recall the silence in your soul after your oath was broken. Nailed it. Remember, quiet as a mouse. Where will I find my contract? Paper cage for your soul. Such a tiny thing, but it's one of his favorites. In the archive, down the corridor, past the debtor. Oh, the debtors. They won't like you. But I like you. I know I do. I think I do. I hope I do. I just need to ask one question, and I'll know for sure. Well, what is it? Can you save me? Please, 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 please. Of course. You don't even know how. All right. You have to listen very, very, very closely. I will say this only once. Find the key. Take the contract. Smash my chains. Find the key. Take the contract. Smash my chains. Find the key. Take the contract. Smash my chains. 
Once you take the contract, the fire will come. And Raphael, you must run, run, run. But don't forget me. Please, please, please. I don't want to burn. Not again. We won't. We'll get you out. I promise. The rattle of chains echoes louder from unseen places. And without a scream or a sigh, hope disappears. Indebted disguise. I look so pretty after, you know, I defiled my face with an, a new eye and I got my... Uh, and I got my... Uh, uh, you know, I got all veiny. <laughs> Okay, okay. Guest book. Oh, we can sign the guest book, right? Yeah. No, maybe not. Okay. The guest. Just a skeleton. What is this place? Oh my word. Infernal Iron Doors. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Over here we have Find Hope. Over here we have Search the Archive. So I think... Waltzing Eternal Debtor. Oh dear. Perfect Eternal Debtor. I wonder if these are all people that have failed to pay their debts. Prison Hatchway. Debtor's Attire. I already have some. What makes these ones different? Let me see. Oh. I like these ones better. I do wanna... So, I have a feeling... Uh, I have a feeling that, um... Getting the contract is probably going to be the worst thing to do first, because that's probably going to make a lot of people upset, very angry at me. Seems like I can jump across here, but why would I wish to do that? Oh, I could get up over there, apparently. Okay. Immortal Eternal Debtor. Oh, he's just forced to whip himself, I guess. Okay. Silver Chalice. Dozens upon dozens of songs grace the pages of this book. Thank you. Mystic Force Curtain. Wow. Wow. Looks like a nice bath in here. Don't, you know, wouldn't mind having a quick, quick wash. A nice bed. Look at that. Very cool. Ah, this is how I, I can get to here from the outside. I get it now. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Yeah, I feel like we need to do... I feel like we need to em uh, free... Hope first. Because the last thing I want to do... Is go into this archive, grab my contract... Uh-oh. They're eating from the inside. The rats. The rats. The rats. It's gross. Um, 
because the spilt wine is laced with the perfume of an exquisite poison an unexpected treat <laughs> um a lever I like levers let's pull the lever a fun lever to pull. Let me get rid of this stuff. No, not that. Um. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Good. Right, so let's go check out Raphael's little bath. I like that. I like the bath. And then. And then we'll go get hope. Then we'll get contract. I feel like that's the best way to do that. Outer portals. Oh. oh, wow. You look positively wretched. Perfect. Oh, we know. When is a door not a door? When it's a jam jar. We won't find a way out here or a way in. What's this place? This is the Chamber of Egress. The portals here crisscross the plains, but they won't open to the likes of you and me. This is how Raphael consults with his clients so efficiently, no matter the time, no matter the place, and it's how he stalks his prey. There must be something useful here. Oh, there is. There is. If you stare into the portals long enough, your mind starts to do cartwheels and tricks you into thinking you're falling into a horrible yawning void. It's one of my favorite ways to pass the time. Oh! But you have no time to waste, or time will waste you. And what you need from the house is in the archive. Not here! Hey! Oh, portal to Neverwinter. Neverwinter, Jewel of the North. Mm -hmm. Portal to Baldur's Gate, that's cool. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, so let's come out here. Let's go for a fly. Let's go for light. Could you come outside, please? Yep. yep. I'll have been able to fly. That's great. A lost little mouse is running through the house. Hello. A thief in the night, greedy and here to take. Why are you here, little thief? Raphael, you're looking very skimpy. Raphael? Ha! No. You will have a far crueler master than Raphael soon. But what inspired you to pay him a visit? I won't tell you. This is very naughty. Whatever are we to do? Why don't we play a game? You win, I give you everything you desire. <laughs> But you'll enjoy yourself more if you lose. It's the game. It's a surprise. Off with your clothes. Uh, that seems like a that seems like a weird kind of kind of game. All right, remove. Good little thief. Carl like disapproves. Good. Keep going like this, and 
you'll get to live. You'll be crying out my name soon. You'd better know it. I am Harlep, Raphael's personal incubus, glamoured and transfigured to look like him. I'm a perfect copy. He only ever wants to sleep with himself. <laughs> What's better than the devil you know, eh? His violating stare sees more than all of you. It sees potential. Before we continue, I want to make sure you're comfortable. Sometimes, when he's feeling adventurous, Raphael will ask me to change into the Archduchess, Raphael. I can take her form if you choose. Uh -oh. A simple swap pales in comparison to what you are about to do for me. Um. I mean, let's see where this goes, huh? The feminine form is more to my taste. Then the Archduchess I shall be. It's a nice trick. On the bed. Lie back. Uh, lie down. <laughs> I mean, in for a penny, in for a pound. Let's go. It's a nice looking bed, too. Any thought of resistance or control is fading. You will obey, giving yourself body and mind to them. Um, uh, we could do a wisdom, resist their charms, and hold on to your free will. Hey, DC 18, I'm gonna fail. Yeah. Oh well. I know, you know, it, it happens. It, it is what it is. It's hopeless. Their hold on you is as warm as a blush and as tight as a manacle. Don't worry about a thing. You are right where you need to be. Uh, surrender. Every kiss is as tender as a last goodbye. Every touch a lie of true love. Constitution? Try to cool your desires and push the creature away. Nah, that sounds... No, we're not doing that. You can have my body, but not my mind. You force your eyes open, <laughs> drawing yourself back to reality. Oh, it's too of me. I can't wait to explore how you work. What gets you going? What makes you sweat? And every time I make love in your shape, you will know. A shiver out of the blue. A tear hey, from beyond. Now, your reward for giving me such a present. I will tell you one and only one of Raphael's dirty secrets. Whisper it to me. What do you want to know? Is Raphael actually good in bed? The contract I made, how do I retrieve it? Raphael hides nothing from me. Can deny me nothing. Aside from what he keeps in his safe. The safe lingers behind the right-hand painting of Raphael. He almost spends more time staring at those portraits than he does at me. Although I'd love to watch you struggle to open the safe without it, this key should help. You've labored enough, pet. Well, smile now, on my face. Shall we bid one another goodbye? 
Oh, if I have Thank to. Thank you. For you. I will misuse you well. Ta-ta, then. Just takes my form and wanders off. Sure. Just having a sleep. I took off all of my armor too. <laughs> I took off all of my armor. Jeez. Well, let's put this back on. Um, this back on. These. My tasteful bootsies. Ah, uh, not that. Uh, my armor. That's that. that uh, no, not that. That. <laughs> I just need to find all of my gear again. Uh, I'm missing a ring. Was it this one? Movement speed three. Was that the one I had on? Maybe. Am I good or am I missing something? I think I'm good, right? Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm good. Well, that was an experience. What's that? Oh, restoration faucet. Nice. Does that mean I can get... Wait. No, no, I was going to say, did I already get fully healed? But no, I didn't. Better to put the debtor's attire back on. It keeps the locals quiet. You didn't follow me. Why did none of you follow me? With haste. Please come this way. Wait, I thought I did put the debtor's attire. I did put the debtor's attire back on. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. I wonder if I can open this now that I'm on the... Oh yeah, the lever. Not be cursed. A couple of times should do it. Oh, I failed. Damn it. See, I only have two thieves tools left. Oh my god, I failed again. I knew I should have bought more thieves tools. There we go, that's better. Rough. I gotta. I'm gonna stop. I, I don't. Even, I don't know when I might need those thieves tools. Be nice if the game. I can, well, I mean, I suppose it's my own fault. I could have gone shopping properly, couldn't I? That's one I have already, right? Ooh, a button. Soul coin. My bet has paid off. The contract is signed, and that means that I'm as close to the crown of Carsus as I was the day the nether the, the netheril fell. But this time I will get it, and things will be different in the hells henceforth. The contract will be kept safely in the archive uh, as the key to my greatest achievement, protect, protected by a password. What shall it be? Perhaps give me my heart's desire. A magic That'll help us in the archive. See, it was worth it. And how upset is Karlak? I mean, it's still exceptional, right? No, where is Karlak? Yeah, Karlak right here. It's still exceptional. Oh, 
glass goblet. Don't mind if I do. Wish I had a bag of holding. In the twisted strokes of the artist's brush, you sense the fragments of a forsaken soul laid out in reds, blues, and yellows. Take that one too. Right, so can the team all benefit from this, please? Yeah, I think... Is that better? Is everybody happy? Watch your elders and learn. Yes. Okay. Now, is it worth resummoning this guy? No, he's still level nine. Okay. Amazing. Um, Madriad, where's she? Here she is. Resummon her as a level five. Guys, stop getting burnt. Still breathing, despite everything. I was going to say, where are all my spells gone? But of course, it's because I. Okay. Good. Okay. Alrighty. There's quite a lot of stuff here actually. I'll take that. Very well. Okay. Let's go see if we can save Hope. Where is she? This way. I also think that uh succubus was supposed to be in the nude, but uh it disabled the nude, so we can't, could see it, but we I think we can imagine, right? Guidance. is held in chains just beyond. But where is your contract, you inglorious lump? Um, why can't I just free you now? The sound of the chains breaking will echo across the plains. Raphael will fly home furious when he hears it. If he still has your contract when that happens. Oh. That is done. I'll make sure I'm ready. Ready for Raphael's homecoming? <laughs> He'll use you as a handkerchief. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't listen to me. You're going to do just fine. I'll be waiting. Like I have a choice. So I take back what I said. I'm out. Such a beautiful house. At the ready. Okay, so... No, don't close them. Just go through them. Um, okay, so instead, what we're going to do is... We're going to get my contract. Then we're going to go back. 
Yeah, his hope. Okay. Hello again, little mice. The price for speaking is steep, but I must give warning. Your prize is just ahead in the archive, but you can't take it yet. And even if you could, you mustn't. Trigger the alarm, and Raphael will come swooping home on wings of malice to rip out your soul. In this house, thieves are melted like butter and spread onto toast. Shh. I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. Yeah, I need you to stay calm, hope, and guide me. I can. I shall. I can. I shall. The archivist is the key. But he's as stubborn as a king and as serious as a heart attack. Exploit his fiddling weakness and make him grovel! Oh no. They hear me. Speak quickly, speak softly. You know how this goes. Uh, I guess we do charisma. Concentrate on speaking softly and without emotion. Nailed it. You study your mind and prepare your questions. Um, how should I deal with the arch archivist? He fears authority figures. Perhaps his teacher took a strap to him and left a deep impression at an early age. There's one regular visitor that he particularly fears. She is... Shh. A crack like breaking bone. Hope winces. Who does the archivist fear, Hope? I need a name. Oh, nailed it. Yes. Scarier things than you, little mice. Virilius. Virilius Receptor. A High Inquisitor of Zariel. Officially entitled to audit Raphael's collection. Her true form is so gargantuan and mind scarring to behold that she takes on many guises when she visits. Play your part well, and you can be one of those blasphemous guises. So, uh, do we free hope first, or do we get the contract first? This is nuts. I'm gonna save it because I'm confused. Aiming Hope, part one. Oh. Transcript of a conversation between Raphael and her sister, Hope. Wait, Corilla's transcript? Okay. What's there? Oh yeah, this is Gauntlets of the, the Hill Giant strength. There's a trap on them, isn't there? Right. Everybody gonna fail. No oh, shadow heart. Hmm. I must keep going. God damn it. There's totally a tra there's totally a trap on them. what you wanted, but you cannot leave lest all hells break loose. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a hopeless situation? 
<laughs> Alright, so that was the stuff that was on it. Apparently, it just summons Raphael. That's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all. So, what's that? Amulet of greater health. Cool. Raphael has reserved this pedestal for the price. The most cherished client. The ink is dry, the contract signed. The threads of fate shall now un- So that'll be it for this episode. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.